Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, it's getting exciting now because Bitcoin is currently putting in the fifth wave uh, that we wanted to see for a breakout scenario. Okay, so as explained in the last few days, last couple of days, to really give us clarity or at least first level of confidence that the trend is shifting from a downtrend into an uptrend, we need to see five waves up. We do have these five waves now, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, there is no sign that Bitcoin has topped or anything, so it can still extend higher. And I would say as long as this last swing low at 26,296 is holding, the focus can remain on higher. But be aware, it has now five waves to the upside. And if I use the method to calculate the length of the fifth wave, then um, da -da -da, let me think. One second, let me just think about something yeah no it's fine um then we're looking at the range between 27k and 27,500 dollars yeah it can always extend higher bitcoin likes extended fifth waves i think i said that before at some point um so just be aware of that and yeah it's going to be interesting um so what we'll do I think with this latest push to the upside, probabilities of one more low have certainly decreased. Um, everybody was aware that a trend change might be in the making here, but we need to see five waves up complete to have the first confirmation. Yeah, from a from an analysis point of view, we always need to go through that process. We need to see five waves up, then we just see three waves down. So that means as soon as Bitcoin shows signs of a top in place, I will be able to give you support for the pullback so what we need to see as you know is five waves up always yeah for a first indication a trend is shifting and we have a nice five up now and then if we see three waves down this is the second level of confirmation and then breaking above this high is the third level of confirmation but that doesn't mean you need to wait for all three levels of confirmation with a trade right um so again five up alone don't confirm the trend is shifting it's going to be the next three wave pullback together with the move afterwards. But then again, all of these steps, each of these steps increases probabilities that the trend is shifting. So it's going to be very interesting. Um, again, for everybody to, who didn't get the context, um, we are overall here. We came down in a wave two correction. Now that could be complete, maybe one more low. Yeah, but this was now the first time where I said, there is a realistic chance for a trend change. So we can track a possible trend reversal pattern. I showed you what we need to see. We do see it at the moment. So probabilities for a trend shift are definitely increasing. It's now approaching here the trend line as well. So I just showed you the FIP extension targets for a target, but also it's approaching the trend line. Uh, let's see if it breaks above it. That would have bullish implications. But the thing is, the point I try to make here is we need to see the five waves complete. We need to see a top in place. When we have that, I can give you the next support area that if Bitcoin holds it can lead to the next rally. So eventually for a bullish scenario, which would be the idea that the trend has changed from a downtrend into an uptrend, that we are in a third wave rally already. Uh, this would be a wave one. OK, pullback would be a wave two. After that, we should get into a third wave of a third wave rally four and five. So this is sort of what ideally will happen now. What is the case is that all the five waves up, when we get five waves, it certainly increases probabilities that in a three wave pullback, the relevant support levels are holding the FIB levels. Yeah. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. This is interesting now. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.